What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Slide A Fry here, and, well, based on a pretty hilarious conversation I had with, yes, the Michael Shane, the Michael Shane, I don't need to make a video that contradicts him. He contradicted himself. When I kept seeing these hateful comments from him towards my react videos, I was under the assumption that he was just some kid. He pretty much proved me right. Because in part 3 of my react to the AVGN 200, <clears throat> he logged on to a second account to just call my video shit. And said, oh, just go back to your job. Too many people think YouTube, and they can make a living on YouTube and Twitch. And it's like, a lot of people know they can't, first of all. And secondly, um, it's okay to, you know, upload videos even if you have a job. There's people out there who actually have a pretty good fan base who still actually work a regular job, too. But even funnier is he literally admitted to that being his secondary account check this out it's just so my fan Superman the bull claw said I guess this is the guy from the beginnings alt account and I said I'm not going to assume but it's possible I'm not going to assume but it's possible and it's also possible he just watched what I said at the beginning and just called the video garbage without seeing the whole thing Jose Eduardo said that's exactly what I did. Now, he didn't actually confirm which one is exactly what he did, but I'm, I think it's pretty safe to assume he's probably a, a, an alt account, like what my fan above said, um, to try to... Because he knew I called out his channel, Michael Shane, and maybe he was afraid that if he commented, uh, somebody would have called him out in the comment section. <laughs> but uh, so he decided to start a secondary account to just call my video shit and make it look like um, there was more legit reason for my videos to not exist well guess what I'd like to thank all my fans for their support for viewing my react videos and enjoying them they are clearly in demand people want to see them so why should this one guy who absolutely hates React videos be the one to decide uh, what's okay to put on YouTube and what's not? <laughs> Their React videos, get over it. <clears throat> yeah, it's not creative, but I have my own original stuff too. I just don't make them as often. I don't have time to make them. There's all this editing and all this other stuff I have to do to make them. I have plans for an original series. But, it's, uh, but there's a lot of variables before I can actually get started with that. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought it was hilarious that he had the had felt the need to log into his alt account to try to trash my video more in the comments. And, you know, I replied to his comment calling, calling him Lol Cow of the Week, like what uh, your name tree does in his videos if you guys are into sports or anything. Uh, Lol Cal of the Week. Um, and then he actually said that I should be thankful that he even watches my garbage in the first place. Like, yeah, I am thankful. I'm thankful that you're wasting your time commenting on my video thinking that you're insulting me when it doesn't even have an effect on me. I mean, I'm 33 years old. I'm not a little boy. I'm a man, okay? I don't really care what you're saying. It's the internet. I've been around the internet clearly way longer than this guy has, and I've seen some pretty messed up shit on here. <laughs> Two Girls, One Cup, for example. I actually watched the actual video back in the late 2000s, and I was... So nothing that this guy can say will ever faze me. <laughs> that was horrible what I saw. Um, so, yeah. And besides... My wife is far more scary than any of these negative commenters could ever be. Nothing they say or do will actually do anything to make me stop uploading the videos I enjoy making and the videos that my fans want me to upload. 
I'd also like to say thank you to the, I guess it's now 34 people who voted on my recent poll. Every time I posted a poll, it would get no more than 5 or 10 votes, but suddenly it got 34, and I, it's probably because it has Scott the Waz, but um, maybe it's just a sign that I actually have more supportive fans who actually are watching my content, and I appreciate that. Instead of having just a whole bunch of blank subscribers, which actually most of them are, but I, I have some that actually are loyal and will watch, and I, I appreciate that. Anyways, I've been at this long enough. Let's get to the video in question, the video I'm supposed to react to. Let's do this. Forgot to close Premiere. Alright. Oh. Yeah, I just made that thing. Okay. Watching the most disliked videos. Let's check this out. From John Tron. Hey, come here. Forget about this. I got something very important to tell you. It's about. Sorry, I, I've seen the ad already. What the hell? About the. <laughs> okay. Hey, come here. Forget about this. I got something very important to tell you. It's about. The, a secret hidden gem, the greatest mobile game of all time. That's right, it's Raid Shadow Legends, which just also happens to be today's sponsor. Come on, let's get serious. This month, Raid has released the latest addition to its huge boss roster, and it's the biggest, baddest, and scariest yet, the Hydra. This thing is a super-powered clan boss that's basically like a bunch of bosses rolled into one. It's got multiple heads, and each one of them has... I'm not really into watching these ads, but it's just... At least, he's not advertising um, those Pitos chips I made that short about. The Retro Critic, uh, Bad Wolf, and some others know exactly what I'm talking about. I bought a bag of chips that advertised in the back that they're as flavorful as Cool Ranch Doritos. So at least he didn't replace the Doritos with that. Even though... I know we're all getting sick of Raid Shadow Legends ads, but see my short about how disgusting those chips are and an upcoming video um, that I'll actually talk about in detail about how awful those chips are. <laughs> well, not in great detail, but Pito's chips, it's uh, chips that are made with pea, with the flavor of peas, that green, you know, vegetable, that little brown ve green vegetable, um, which are really delicious, but the chips are so fucking disgusting. It's like, that bag is lying. There's no way you can compare it to Cool Ranch Doritos. Cool Ranch Doritos are a million times better. You'll find these rewards here in your inbox <laughs> so, the next 30 days only. at least and hey, you didn't you replace the Doritos with that. Great Shadow it. Legends. All right. We're tired of it, now, but it's way better than that. Video garbage bag of chips I, I had. Now let's watch the actual video. A Shire Side Chat. We're what? John. What? <laughs> Welcome! To th there, there you are. Today we're going to be talking about the like-dislike thing, but I know, I know this has already been dislike to death so you know i'm not going to talk too much about my <laughs> opinion on it because everybody already knows the opinion that it's stupid everybody knows that it's stupid it is so i don't need to repeat that what did they what's the reason they gave why let's go to blog.youtube a very valuable resource for the human race <laughs> uh an update on dislikes to youtube what the fuck is this what is this some fucking uncooked ramen i dislike that can i Button's gone. The dislike count will be private across YouTube, but the dislike button will remain. So stupid. Big brains! Over at YouTube HQ. What can you say? What can you say other than f you? <coughs> but I, you shall there. not pass. At YouTube, we strive to be a place where creators of all sizes, thank you, and backgrounds <laughs> can uh, find and share their voice to ensure that YouTube promotes respect. Okay. You gotta love the just spread of reasons they're giving for this. Earlier this year, we experimented with the dislike button to see whether or not changes could help better protect our creators from harassment. <laughs> oh, they're doing this for me. They're doing this for me? For my own good? <laughs> That's weird. I thought it was because of all these transnational corporate interests. Yes. Oh, good. Because I now I can stop thinking it was all that. 
But let's let's yeah. uh, let's ease off it's the totally rhetoric. The corporate interests. And let's, ooh, we can have a little bit of long bottom leaf. Mm? <laughs> you don't need to think about all that. You don't need to think about all that all that harsh stuff. Mm. The world is changing, but the Shire will always remain the same. I won't forget this. So instead of just, you know, retreading all that old <coughs> ground that everybody already knows about, I decided uh, I'm just gonna do a little something fun and wacky for this little end of year video. That's right, we're gonna go back and we're going to look at some of the most disliked videos of all time, and we are gonna judge for ourselves whether or not the judgment was just. So, you know, let's go back and uh, see if some of these uh, mass disliking uh, campaigns. All right, before we continue, I'm gonna name off the videos I think are gonna make the list. The um, price reveal of the N64 um, Sega Genesis expansion pass for the Nintendo Switch Online. That's gonna be up there. People hated that it was $50. Like I thought it was gonna be like $30 or something, but it's $50 a year, which is almost like paying for a new Madden NFL every year, which is something you shouldn't do because you can just update the rosters on the old game. But um, another one that I know is going to be on there is the uh, reveal trailer for Star uh, for Metroid Prime Federation Force. Um, that video was hated so much. So again, two of them are actually by Nintendo. And then there's going to be a bunch of other ones um, that I don't know. Uh, maybe even Leave Britney Alone might be on there, but th that video was like from 13 or, or 14 years ago, so probably not. Because that was when, uh, back then, that was when people did the five-star ratings <coughs> on YouTube, not the likes to dislikes. Um, but it might be on there, I don't know. Um... <sighs> There's, there's a bunch. Uh, but the thing is, like, it's, in general, it's the corporate stuff. It's the, it's the fact that they seem to want to, um, there was a video I saw that explained what I believed in, yes, but also added some additional points that, um, I didn't even think about when explaining the, uh, removal of the dislike counter. It's by a YouTube channel called The Mysterious Mr. Enter really worthwhile to watch him. Mean, he, he reviews uh, episodes of TV shows. Um, if you like Family Guy, you might not like him that much because he really, really hates Family, family Guy. Um, he has mentioned that in the past they've had good episodes like, P, like PTV and others, you know, from the early years, but because Family Guy has such a dramatic drop in quality, you know, after season like 11 or 12 or whatever, um, he just hates the show and only talk and reviews a bunch of negative ones. But he also reviews episodes of shows that he's very positive about. Or and he does movie reviews too. And uh, last year he did something really cool, where he uh, uploaded a bunch of videos, um, kind of like what Nostalgia Critic does with uh, Disney Simber or Dream Work Suary. Um, but in this case, it was the mysterious Mister Enter uploading a bunch of videos where he was reviewing various, uh, the various uh, cartoon series from Nickelodeon uh, in order from earliest from 1991 or whatever to you know the most recent which is uh, which was a lot of fun I haven't watched everything I mostly focused on the ones that I remember growing up watching in the 90s like Rugrats and Doug and Hey Arnold and um, uh, fuck, I can't remember them. Oh, Ren and Stimpy, and, you know, but, um, anyways, after we're done here, I, I do suggest you check out the Mysterious Mr. Enters video, where he talked about the removal of the dislike button, and various things that are really gonna go wrong because of it. Um, it could lead to something that's similar to, like, the Adpocalypse thing, because, uh, videos that are controversial and horrible will not actually have dislikes on them. You know, hold up to this day, or if it was just emotions running high at the time. But how do we know which videos were the most disliked? Because now that they've uh, taken that away, uh, it doesn't show it anymore. Yeah. After all, why should you have it? 
It is mine alone to behold. Yo, Bobo, <laughs> give it back to the people. You're turning evil. It's mine! Uh. What's that? Look there. What's that? What happened now? Oh! The dislikes are back! I don't know how long this is going to be around, but on Google's own Chrome web store, you can just get return YouTube dislike. So, you know, I don't know how long this is going to last for. This may be our last chance to scour wow. for, uh, you know, most disliked videos. So where should we start? Uh, let's go to the Wikipedia list of most disliked YouTube videos. Obviously, all the first million are going to be mine. Okay, number one is YouTube no. Rewind 2018. I won't go over that one. Everybody knows that one. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, first up on the list, Baby Shark. This is the second most disliked video of all time. I mean, we all know Baby Shark, but it still has a positive ratio. So there are still massively more lovers of this video than haters. I've just been informed by my highly trained staff that uh, we can't show this video. I had a feeling, so... um. Baby shark, do, 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 do. baby shark, do, 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 do. fuck this video. That's what 14 million people said. 14 million dislikes. That is, that's a widespread of the population there. You know, some of these are probably you. If you've clicked that button, all right, I want, the only way you can atone for this is by screenshotting that and sending it to my Twitter and say sorry. Say sorry to the little, that young boy who was just going, baby shark, do, 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 do. say sorry to that guy. No, I never even watched the video, so don't worry about there. Number three is Sadak 2 trailer. Okay, I don't know what that is. This came out August 12, 2020. Okay, this is new. Oh my God, look at that. What the hell? What did Vishesh Films do? Jesus Christ. We're gonna watch the Sadak 2 trailer. You know, hope I can get through it without throwing a chair. Sunata. Hey, I'm reacting to her. I'm reacting to a react. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is disgusting. Don't like this video? Sign in to make your opinion. You know, hope I can get through it without throwing a chair. I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is disgusting. Don't like this video? Sign in to make your opinion count. <laughs> we wanted to, but you won't let us, you know? <laughs> You might want to change that. <laughs> I gotta go back. To <laughs> but you won't let us, you know? You might want to change that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm a buddy. 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 I'm just going to say it. I don't see what's wrong here. It looks like a pretty good film. 2020, people came to dislike the video. 2021, people came to check the dislikes. Susan Singh Rajput Love! <laughs> hashtag will, hashtag B, hashtag in, hashtag our, hashtag heart, the hashtag forever. All right. What? I, I, I give up. I think we're gonna have to Google this. Uh, why, why is Sa Sadak 2 disliked? The intended boycott dates back to the weeks after actor Sushant Singh Rajput's death. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Mm, this isn't fun anymore. No, it's not. After the 34 year old star of Chichore. 34 years old. I'm 33. Oh my god. He's so young. He died so young. It's so sad. Churi. was found dead at home in Mumbai. He was pushed to the brink in part by the alleged treatment he received from Bollywood insiders. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna stop on this one now, but you know, suicide. I'm just gonna say for the record, and I mean this because, you know, hashtag, sushant, hashtag love. I'm very sorry to hear about the tragedy. Please don't send India after me. I love chicken vindaloo, so just saying. <laughs> Oh. Okay, what's this one? Comedy. Can this video get one million dislikes? Oh, it's by Felix, the famed PewDiePie, mm -hmm. the Swede with the weed. That's what they call him. Can this video get they to do. one million dislikes? Well, I think we know why it's here then. Uh, yes, it did. Got to 5.8 million. That doesn't seem right. Felix is a cool guy. Go like this video, everyone. You're welcome, Felix. All the five people that follow through with that, you're welcome. Look what I did.
Okay, so this one's kind of interesting. It's the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack Overview mm. Trailer. It's got a pretty it bad ratio for Nintendo. I, I think that's that's got to be like the only time Nintendo's ever got a oh. ratio like that, huh? That's 18K thumbs ups to 185,000 dislikes. Jesus Christ, what the hell did you do, Nintendo? Uh, I'm, I'm not up to speed on this one. Let's Whoa. check out what's included with Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. Nice. I knew this would be on there. People hated Play this Play games from so the much. Nintendo 64 system, which gave many players their first gaming experiences in 3D environments. Everybody stay alert! I'm really not that mad yet, I hate to tell you this. Ah, yeah, not Mario 64, put <coughs> Mario 64 on there! Well, next time, maybe you'll know not to put my favorite game on there, asshole. I didn't mean That's it. not the reason. I meant it. Additionally, <laughs> more games will be added in the future. This sounds awesome, dude. I'm gonna get this right now. I didn't even know about this. Animal Crossing New Horizons Happy Home Paradise at no additional cost. Is the problem gonna be at the end? Starting at this pricing plan. Oh, sorry, what? They want how much for that? That's why. Let me get this straight. They're trying to charge twice the normal cost for two emulators and an Animal Crossing DLC? I mean, hey, I didn't, I didn't go to business school, so you know. I've got to say, I was riffing, but now I can see why you guys, Nintendo, don't like this. <laughs> what did you expect, man? I'm in The Hobbit. What did you expect, man? <laughs> okay, one last I, video I game related one. This. this one's a little different. We have the official Call of Duty Infinite Warfare oh, okay. reveal trailer. Yeah, it's a pretty bad ratio, so let's see. I've actually not played this game. I have not seen the trailer, so let's see. Back in the history of the world. How could they not have seen the okay. Looks fucking awesome. I'm going to get that tonight. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> what do the comments say? People in 2016, this looks like garbage. People in 2021, where'd the dislikes go? <laughs> oh, accurate. Oh, so what's wrong with this? This actually looks awesome. Like, I want to play it now. All right, cool, Serge. You want to go have a talk? Do you want to have a chat, dude? Why don't you just, you take the... I kind of wish he looked up what was the reason that got so many dislikes. Like, is it because people didn't want Call of Duty to be, to be in outer space or something? Is that why? I mean, it wasn't really that grounded in realism, but okay. Music video for children, music video for children, music video for children. I'm getting a feeling the, the public at large does not like music videos for children. <laughs> this is the eighth most disliked video on the entire platform. Learning colors, colorful eggs on a farm. Oh, if upon hearing gosh. that, your blood's not starting to rise, you know, the temperature of your blood's not starting to get to a boiling point, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Okay, here's the channel for confirmation. <coughs> Appears to be Russian, which I don't know how to read. But my mother does! <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Mom. Wait, that was her response. Yeah, Mom, can you still read the Russian alphabet? You're on film, by the way. That's why I'm doing that. <laughs> you're on film. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're on film. John, you're gonna, you, you're gonna be sorry, cause your mama can be mean. Are you gonna as mean as you? John, no you didn't. Mama, what's no, the you, thing? What did you do? I can still it's, edit it out. <laughs> yeah, you were there for the whole thing. I called you and I said, do you still read the Russian alphabet? You're so mean to me. <laughs> it's Christmas season. You're not supposed to be mean to your parents. It's <laughs> really that mean? Okay, I love you. I love you. I can't, when is this show coming out? Soon? About a week. About a week. Oh, a week. Oh, my God. Okay. I'll suffer another okay. week. All right. We'll okay, talk soon. I'll call you soon you. for real. Love you. Bye. Okay. Okay. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> now we're going to watch the Learning Colors Color for Eggs on a Farm video, but I don't think I don't think you can outpace what just happened there. <laughs> that was awesome. No, I know why they dislike it. No, I get it. <clears throat> I don't really, I don't need to see more. I'm gonna have to see more. <coughs> see more. Don't make me. Oh, there are the colors. Uh... 
Don't scuttle off. Their eye movements are highly unsettling. What, that doesn't make you feel comfortable? You don't want to learn colors now? <laughs> this book has been looking at me here. This one, these are real by the way, see? This one is called Grandmother and the Priests. Um. <laughs> it really looks nefarious. Yeah. Is this some kind of holy gangbang situation? <laughs> She's sitting down and they're all, this book is dedicated to the heroic memory of God's servants encountered in grandmother's drawing room so long ago. <coughs> let's just go, let's go back to the egg video. <laughs> what in the bloody fuck is this? Okay, now yeah. I see where the 8.2 million dislikes are coming from. These guys are all fine. This guy <coughs> comes out front and center, dead on, and gives me a... Have you heard of Castle Doctrine? I have a moral duty to defend myself and those I love. What is this, Egg Jonestown now? <laughs> what the fuck? They're just gonna commit mass suicide? The one in the middle convinced him, didn't it? He's the ringleader, he's the cult leader. Don't create the real big egg. No! They've recombined. <laughs> And he didn't break. Notice, he didn't break. He's actually a, we a, a weapon of mass destruction at this point. <laughs> what is going, are we really learning colors? No. Where we go, oh my God, okay, I didn't expect it to be that far in the distance. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, we've paused here. Let's all guess together. Was he A, uh, infuriated by the challenge the claw presented to him when he, when, when he said, come here, buddy. And now he's just smashing everything to get his revenge? Is he B, compelled to go to his fate of being grabbed on his big head? Or C, something else we can't see coming? Okay, it was B. <laughs> oh shit, who could have guessed it? Could have been any of them. <laughs> Just hate his children. <laughs> One got away. He's gonna tell everyone else what you did. Okay, well you played it. You played it smart. <laughs> you got him. So you were you were lasering in. You wanted to make sure. Okay, folks. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you folks have a merry Christmas, a happy New Year, and now I'm gonna do this. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a random way to end the video. Whew. That is a weird video. I, wow. Wow. Um, hey, Michael Shane, why don't you comment on a, JonTron for reacting to other people's videos. <laughs> I guarantee you he won't. He'll just, you know, focus on the much smaller channels that are reacting to other videos. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's different. I'm reacting to react. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, just for fun, I'm going to put in the comment section, um, this is something that I saw on a video um, a month ago, I think, or some not too long after they got rid of the dislike counter. Um, a, a YouTube channel that's actually smaller than mine, but created an animation that I didn't really like that much. Um, they put they commented dislike button. Um, they're on their own video, right? Which meant that pressing like on his comment counted as the dislike counter. So, for fun, since we're talking about dislikes, I'm going to put a dislike counter in the comment section. I'm going to put, I'll type in, you know, something along the line is, oh, this comment is the dislike button. Only like this comment if you dislike this video. <clears throat> if you liked the video, but you liked the comment, that does not count. 
<laughs> you know, um, something like that. But, um, see, that's a way to bring the dislike counter back in a way, I guess. Um, anyways, I really, once again, I really had a blast watching John Tron. I wish I watched this yesterday when it first came out, but uh, it was Sunday, my busiest work day, and I just did not have the time. I was, like, only home for maybe, like, <laughs> like four hours of the day. <laughs> I was not here for very long, much of the day. Most of my time at home was when I was sleeping this morning, yesterday morning, so, yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell icon to add me notifications. It, that doesn't, that is a weird-ass video. Like, what the hell? Like, I, I... I've seen pretty funny humor in cartoons that involve somebody eating another character and it's just kind of funny because it's unexpected or whatever, but when it's done with faces like this and it's supposed to be some kind of baby's video where it's a learning thing, um, it just was pretty off-putting and weird, you know? Um, <clears throat> don't hug me, I'm scared, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, um, actually, speaking of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, which uh, made itself, which is a series of videos that made themselves look like their kid videos, and then they actually had some pretty messed up shit going on, so they, you know, gave you the sense of security and then tricked you with some messed up shit on purpose, uh, so they're not kids' videos at all. Um... Um, somebody who was watching one of my Super Mario Maker 2 streams in 2019, uh, Chaku the, the Half Sane, um, he asked me to do a React video to the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared series, which I actually had never heard of at the time, but because of that, I decided to start doing React videos in 2020. I actually did some practice ones in late 2019 to, uh, the third Democratic presidential debate. Um, but those videos are unlisted now because, I mean, they're long and not many people really watch them and I didn't want to actually keep the political stuff on there in regards to that anyway. But, um, <clears throat> so the first, like, real official React video was to the Ricky Gervais Golden Globe speech in, uh, in January 2020, but then I started doing React videos to the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared series, which barely got me any views because those videos came out years ago. Um, I have... It's not specifically because of that, because of many other videos I've reacted to. I've learned that i got to react to videos that are brand new in order to actually get views on them. Otherwise, it's not worth making them. And I should just watch them on my own time when I'm out working or something. But, um, <clears throat> anyways. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, be sure if you can find them. His account, I think, was I think he deleted his channel, but if you can find him, be sure to thank him for actually uh, making that request and getting me started on the idea of doing React videos in 2020 as I'm doing them still to this day, and it actually helped push my channel to get monetized and actually makes me a lot happier than I used to be on YouTube. I used to be a really sad YouTuber. I used to feel awful about making videos because... I would put all this effort and all this work into it, and all this editing into them, and people just wouldn't really watch them, and they wouldn't subscribe to my channel, and it just gave me this sad feeling the whole time. But now that I do these much simpler React videos, I just record and upload, uh, and people want to watch them. People, you know, s seek them out. I'm, I'm a much, I'm a much happier YouTuber. So, yeah, um, Michael Shane and your dummy account. <clears throat> Jose Eduardo, you know, I know this is mean, but go fuck yourself, seriously. Oh, and uh, by the way, if, if you're commenting on any of my videos from now on, I'm going to ignore everything you say. I won't even bother out, so, yeah, don't even try, <clears throat> because... I'm really happy I actually have a larger fan base than I ever had before. I'm very happy about that. I'm very thankful to my loyal subscribers who still watch my videos. 
Bad Wolf, my number one fan. The Retro Critic, um, he doesn't comment on all my videos, but I'm aware that he actually watches them or at least plays them in the background or whatever when he's doing other things. Um, and plus, we're doing a collab together uh, soon anyway. And uh, um, Coat, formerly Sassalot from Puerto Rico, he's uh, he's been a great... He's been very supportive. He's actually the oldest fan that's still around because he was around in the, my early years in 2000, in the late 2000s, 2008, 2009. Um, thank you so much, Jordan. He's a much more recent fan. He found me through uh, Scott the Waz React videos. He seems to only comment on those, but um, I am thankful that he's that he's around. And thank you to uh, was it Super Mandible Claw for uh, you know. Sticking it, sticking it with me, staying by my side against the uh, <clears throat> hater Michael Shane and his dummy account Ho Jose Eduardo. <clears throat> and uh, also, thank you for enjoying my videos. Thank you. So, uh, I think there was somebody named like Jamie or Lynn or something. I, I can't remember everybody's name, but thank you all for enjoying my content. And thank you for those, even the ones who like maybe commented on my videos once <clears throat> you know I appreciate that too thank you all so much anyways this has been going on long enough what'd you think about this new John Tron episode I thought it was incredible I'm glad he looked up the most hated videos on YouTube I'm really glad he did um, I wasn't aware of most of these because I seem to be one of those guys who just doesn't like to watch the popular corporate stuff like I don't I I just can't get into it. <clears throat> I like watching people who are individuals on YouTube, or if there are corporate things I watch, I watch like ones that started on YouTube, not ones that like have been around for a long time and then started YouTube channels. I like, you know, like College Humor basically started on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> dorkly. Uh, you know, I like those ones. Um, and because they're actually just plain out funny, and especially dorkly because they, uh, I mean, they, they get the jokes right when it comes to the video games they're making parodies of. Anyways, thank you so much for, for watching. You have a good one.